Alright, so in this video we're going to continue off of the previous video where uh, I have an eight answers page for retrieving all of my Firebase Firestore data. So first I do const loading, set loading is equal to use state and the default value is true. And then I add in another state variable, uh, const posts, comma set posts is equal to use state which is a default value of an empty array. And then I'm going to add in my use effect hook, which is only going to run once when I load my answers component, which in this case is a page. So I do uh, const get posts from Firebase is equal to an empty array. And then I do, I define a new function, const subscriber is equal to db dot collection and then the name of the collection which in this case is survey responses and then i do um, on snapshot which is a firebase function and on snapshot has a callback function within it um, where the first parameter is something called query snapshot and that is actually where the API call is happening. So query snapshot is the Firebase data. This is where you're going to pull your um, database information from. So query snapshot dot for each doc, I want to push to this uh, local variable called get post from Firebase. So I push a new object using the spread operator of doc dot data comma key doc dot ID. And we're gonna use this key later for rendering uh, the data. So here I put a really scary disturbing bug emoji because this is a bug warning. Um, this line set posts, uh, get posts from Firebase and set loading false. It, it is buggy code. Um, I won't spoil it for you, but if you want to know the answer of why this is wrong, you can skip ahead. Uh, but the answer is coming real soon. Anyway, so then I'm going to return an anonymous function where I call the function that we just typed out, subscriber. The reason I do this is because useEffect has a return value of a cleanup function. Now you may be thinking like, subscriber is a cleanup function? And the answer is yes. Actually, Firebase uh, does this for us. So db.collection.onsnapshot is a cleanup function. Um, I feel like this is one of the most confusing parts of the use effect hook is like, what is a cleanup function? What is that supposed to do? Um, if you want, you can look up the full details in the documentation. I won't go over all of it in this video. But when it, in regards to Firebase, you can trust me that this subscriber function is a cleanup function and the return value has to be just like this. Otherwise, you'll get a warning in the console. Moving on. So the second argument for the use effect hook is the dependencies array. In this case, I leave the dependencies array empty. I only want to load it once and then that's it. Next up for when we are loading data, I'm going to say if it's loading, then I want to return a header one. Hey, I'm loading the page right now. I'm getting stuff from Firebase. I'm not ready to display anything yet. Else, when the data is ready, then we're going to return or this little component where I do curly brackets post.length is greater than zero. So if there are more than zero posts, then I want to map over posts. So I do post.map and then post. And then for each post, I'm going to uh, have a div with a key. If you remember, if you recall earlier, uh, the doc.id. So, and then I uh, put inside the div post.answer. And um, if I do not have more than zero posts, then I'm just going to display a header one uh, that says there's no posts yet so that I don't map over an empty array. It's at this point that I realize I did not wrap post.answer and curly braces. Uh, so once I do that, then I will be able to pull my data from Firebase. Um, this is what my schema looks like. So for each document, I have answer within there. Okay, here's the answer to the bug. So I realized that I put set posts and set loading inside the for each loop. So it would run once and then it would set posts to one element and then it would display. But that is incorrect. We only want to set posts once we're done. 
going over all of the documents. So that is um, the bug in this code. I left it in because if I did it, probably someone else is going to do it too if they're watching this video. So be careful about that. Make sure that um, set posts is outside of the for each loop because you only want to set posts after you have all your data. Yeah, so that's basically how to pull your Firestore data uh, in a nutshell. Um, this is again what my schema looks like. So for each document, I have answer within there. And a lot of advanced stuff in this tutorial. So if you know, you're know you all a little lost, um, I don't blame you. <laughs> I went over a lot of concepts super briefly. Uh, but you know, you're welcome to ask any questions anytime. Um, hopefully this, sh this should just work if you're in a pinch and you really need to just get your data from Firestore, Firebase, and you know, you kind of know React, you know what you're doing, but if you're a total beginner, you know, feel free to take it slow and really go through each line and understand what's going on. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching.